Here, our goal is to calculate the size of angle X. Notice that angle X is here and it's on the side of this angle whose size is 110 degrees. And notice that we have a useful geometrical rule which states that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Indeed, these two angles are on a straight line. So they are on a straight line and they are at a common point. And so that means that they should add up to 180 degrees. And so that means that X plus 110 degrees add up together to give us 180 degrees. And so if we wanna, if, if we wanna determine the size of angle X, we're gonna subtract. We're gonna say 180 minus 110, and that gives us 70. And so that means that angle X is 70 degrees. Next, our goal is to determine the size of angle Y. We already know from the previous question that angle X is 70 degrees. And so we consider this useful geometric rule which states that two angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. And note, we have another geometrical rule which states that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. These two rules are gonna be useful in helping us to find out the value or the size of angle Y. Notice that this triangle right here is an isosceles triangle. How do we know? We know it because the two sides, right? The two sides are equal in measure. The two sides are the same. Now, how do we know that the two sides are equal in measure? We know that the two sides have the same length because each of the sides has one stroke, all right? Has one line on it. And this one line or one stroke indicates that these two lines are equal in measure, they're equal in size. And so this is an isosceles triangle. Indeed, if we're dealing with an isosceles triangle, that means that two angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. So not only are the sides of this triangle equal, but the angles are equal as well. And so that means that if this angle is 70 degrees, that means that this angle right here must also be 70 degrees. Why? Because we are dealing with isosceles triangle. And so when isosceles triangle, the base angles, they are equal. You have two angles in this, in the isosceles triangle, which are the same. This is 70 and this is 70. Now our goal is to determine the size of Y. We know that this is 70, we know that this is 70, and, and we know that this is Y. And we know that if we add up all of these according to our second geometrical rule, it states that angles in a triangle add up to 180. So if we were to add up all these together, they should give us 180 degrees. And so if we look at angle Y, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first add the 70 and the 70, and that gives us 140, and then we're gonna subtract 180 and 140. So we subtract 180 and 140. When we subtract, we get that Y is equal to 40 degrees. And so that means that the size of angle Y is 40 degrees. Next, our goal is to determine the size of angle Z. Notice this, ge notice this geometrical rule. It states that two angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. Next rule states that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. These two rules are gonna be useful in helping us to determine the size of angle Z. Notice that ang this angle 110 is inside of this triangle, right here, this particular triangle. And notice that this is an isosceles triangle. How do we know that this is an isosceles triangle? Because if you notice here, this line and this line, because we have a line here, one stroke on this line and one stroke on this line, that indicates that these two side lengths are equal. So the two side lengths are equal. And if we have two side lengths of a triangle that are equal, we know that we're dealing with A, isosceles triangle. So we have two sides of this triangle that are e that is equal. And what that also means, since that we are dealing with an isosceles triangle, not only are the two sides of the triangle equal, also the two angles are equal as well. And so this angle is also Z along with this angle. These, both of these are equal. Both of these are equal in measure, the, both of these angles. So not only are the side lengths equal, but the angles are also equal. And so if this is Z, this must be also Z. And so in order to determine the size of angle Z, we're gonna take 110 and subtract it from 180. We're subtracting from 180 because 
angles in a quadrilateral add up to 180 degrees. And so we have 110, and so we have 180 minus 110. Notice that 180 minus 110 is definitely 70 degrees. And because we have two angles here, we, are, we have to split the 70 degrees. And so we have to split 70 degrees into two equal halves so that this could have and this could have and they could have the equal amount. And so we have 70 divided by two and 70 divided by two is 35. And so that means that angle Z is equal to 35 degrees. And this is because two angles in isosceles triangle are equal and angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And so angle Z is equal to 35 degrees.